Are you looking for the best electric scooter for kids? In this video we will look at some of the best electric scooter for kids on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Segway 9 Bot E8 Electric Scooter. Other notable features, Cruise Control Mode, Safety Mode, Front Wheel Spring Damping System, Foldable, Kickstand. The full-featured Segway 9 Bot comes in several models to cater to a wide age range of kids. Each model offers a different maximum speed maximum weight limit, and handlebar height. The E8 has a lower rate 0.6 miles per hour max, and a lower and more narrow handlebar, making it ideal for younger kids. The A10 has a 10 miles per hour max and a higher handlebar, best for kids at least 8 years old and 4 apostrophe 3 tall. They are also offered in different colors, but are otherwise the same. With larger wheels and a front wheel spring damping system, the Segway 9 bots offered the smoothest ride of any of the kids' electric scooters we tested. A unique and super cool feature of the 9 bot is that it's the only electric scooter for kids that offers a cruise control mode and a safe mode. Every other scooter requires a child to keep the throttle engaged the entire time they are riding which can quickly get tiring. When set in cruise control mode, once the max speed is reached, it will stay there until the child engages the handbrake. When the handbrake is engaged, the motor shuts down until the child kicks off the ground to reactivate it. Safety mode allows a parent to lower the maximum speed of the scooter, enabling them to keep younger or less coordinated kids safely riding and slower speeds. Cruise control and safety mode cannot be used at the same time. In all modes, the scooter will beep a warning at you if you are going faster than the maximum recommended speed to remind you to brake to slow down. But even if you ignore the warning, the scooter's motor actually shuts off to slow the scooter down. Once a safe speed has been attained, the motor will kick back in. How can a scooter go faster than its max speed? Going faster than the max happens on any kid's electric scooter when going downhill. At number 2, GoTrax GKS Electric Scooter. While the 9 bots boast a ton of features, the GoTrax GKS sticks to the basics to keep the price tag down. The GKS has two main things going for it. First, its slower max speed of just 7.5 miles per hour allows younger kids to safely ride an electric scooter. And while most other electric scooters end up going really fast down steeper hills, we found that the GKS maintained a relatively slow speed on the downhill. This is a huge safety win for young riders. Second, the GoTrax GKS has a unique foot engaged kick to start throttle which is another safety benefit for young kids. To get the scooter started, a child places their foot on the front deck button and kicks off the ground to get the scooter moving. Once the scooter is moving 1.8 miles per hour, the child places their rear foot on the rear button to enage the motor and accelerate to 7.5 miles per hour. To slow down, the child can raise their rear foot which stops the motor and also engage the rear fender brake. Keep in mind that this scooter was one of the bumpier rides of the bunch, so that lower price tag does come at a cost. At number 3, Huffy 2 inch minus 1 bubble 3 wheel electric scooter. In full disclosure, we did not test this 3 wheel electric scooter for kids. We're including it here as the only option we could find for parents looking for an electric scooter for toddlers. Certainly the bubbles and bright characters are a fun touch. But realistically, a toddler is probably better off on a non-electric three-wheel scooter. Anytime you get electronics involved, the potential for things to just stop working is pretty high. Also, as parents of toddlers ourselves, we're proponents of getting them out for exercise, and also tiring them out before nap time doesn't encourage exercise. A three-wheel electric scooter is much more likely to stop working than a standard three-wheel scooter. Best electric scooters for kids 8 to 12. With higher maximum speeds and higher handlebars, these electric scooters are best for kids who are developmentally ready to go faster and have a little more adventure on their scooter. At number 4, Segway 9 Zing E10 electric scooter. Other notable features, cruise control mode, safety mode, 
front wheel spring damping system, foldable faster than its little brother the E8. The 9 bot Zing E10 has a 10 miles per hour max and a higher handlebar, best for kids at least 8 years old and 4 apostrophe 3 tall. It's only offered in grey. All other features are identical, and you can read about those above. Larger wheels and suspension system make for a super smooth ride. Cruise control mode. Safety mode. Parents can set maximum speed lower. Really easy to fold. Easier than other kids electric scooters. Climbs hills better than any other scooter on this list. Cool. Colored LED lights on bottom of the scooter. LED light indicator shows you how much battery power you have left. EBS recovery brake helps regenerates power upon use. At number 5. Razor Power Core E90 Electric Scooter. Amazon's choice for kids electric scooters. The Razor Power Core E90 offers double the riding time compared to the original Razor E180 minutes versus 40 minutes. With lower handlebars than the E100, it's better for younger and shorter kids. With a front plastic wheel, it's a bumpier ride than the air tire of the E100, but its hub motor, versus chain driven motor, is less likely to need maintenance. While it's not our favorite Razor electric scooter for kids. The lower price and higher ride time per battery charge are two pretty big benefits to the power core E90. Wide deck for increased stability for timid riders. Easy push button throttle. Hand brake stops the scooter quickly. Long riding time per battery charge. 80 minutes. Bumpier than other electric scooters on this list. No handlebar height adjustment. Heavy. Hours didn't go 10 miles per hour. Slower than other scooters with a max miles per hour of 10. Can't use as a kick scooter. Motor provides too much resistance. At number 6. Razor Power A2 Electric Scooter. Other notable features. Kickstand. Foldable. Adjustable height handlebar. Full review. Razor Power A2. While not that popular on Amazon, we can't figure out why? Question mark. The Power A2 is our favorite Razor electric scooter for kids. With adjustable height handlebars, a less bulky deck, and a folding mechanism, the Power A2 looks quite like a traditional kick scooter. Weighing in at just 14 pounds, the E100 is 25 pounds. It even can be used as a traditional kick scooter in the event your battery dies. Compared to the Segway E10 which is similarly priced, the Razor A2 doesn't offer as many features and isn't as smooth a ride, but its handlebars allow kids to customize the fit just for them. Adjustable height handlebar to better fit kids of different heights. Foot brake has good stopping power. Can be used as kick scooter without battery. Riding is a bit tricky caused by the urethane front wheel. Shorter deck. Less room for growth. Push button gets tiring on thumb. Narrow handlebars. At number 7, Mongus React E2 electric scooter. While there's nothing about the Mongus React 2 that screams, hey, this is the best scooter, our kid testers insisted that they loved riding it. Even if they had difficulty articulating why. What we determined is that the React 2 is simple, no frills, and just easy to use. It doesn't require much thinking to use so kids can cruise with no worries. If you have a child that would benefit from a non-complex machine, the React 2 is a perfect choice. Wide deck for added stability. Fender brake is easier to engage than other scooters. Simple and non-complicated. Easy to ride. Quiet motor. Can use as a kick scooter if battery runs out. Pretty smooth ride for having plastic wheels and no suspension. Goes uphill more slowly than other kids electric scooters but very fast downhill. Shorter foot deck means less room for feet. Narrow handlebars, and can't adjust their height. Heavier than our favorite scooters. No light up indicator on power switch makes it difficult to tell when it's on. You can often forget to turn it off. At number 8, Razor E100 Electric Scooter. The Razor E100 is the kids' electric scooter that started the electric scooter craze. While there have been a lot of advancements since its humble beginnings, 
the E100 still continues to be one of Razer's top-selling scooters. While it doesn't have an adjustable height handlebar, it does have a wide deck. Many kids prefer this wide deck because it's easier for them to place their feet side by side, rather than one foot in front of the other. Kickstart motor for smoother starting, fast enough for fun but not too fast for young riders. Front air tire for a smoother ride. Well-known brand. Motor cover catches and scratches on ground with sharp right turns. Chain motor, old technology, and batteries require special care and potential maintenance. Heavy and clunky. Can't use as a kick scooter, chain motor provides too much resistance. Handlebar is not adjustable. At number 9, Swagtron Swagger 8 electric scooter. Other notable features, front wheel spring damping suspension, lead screen, adjustable height handlebar, kickstand. Foldable with a 15 miles per hour max and an leather screen to monitor speed. The Swagtron Swagger 8 was the most grown up scooter we tested. Our athletic and older testers preferred this electric scooter for older kids because it could go so much faster than the others. If your child isn't yet ready to go 15 miles per hour, the Swagger 8 actually has three different speeds settings 5, 10, or 15 miles per hour. This is unique because every other kid's electric scooter we tested can only accelerate to its max. A child can't choose to ride at a lower speed. With the push of a button, the Swagger 8's maximum speed can be changed on the go. Unfortunately, a parent can't lock a child out of a higher speed, so exercise caution if your child is younger. Our testers also appreciated the push dial, versus push button, acceleration throttle on the Swagger 8. Unlike the more common push button throttle, it didn't tire their thumbs out. 3 speed settings, 5, 10, or 15 miles per hour. LED screen shows speed and total mileage. Short charge time. Thumb throttle is easy to keep engaged. Suspension for smooth riding. Long deck, more room for feet. Foot brake and hand brake for slow or fast stopping. Best for riding on grass or dirt. Can use as kick scooter when battery runs out. At number 10. Retro Kids Moto Electric Scooter. Other notable features. Kickstand prevents it from accelerating forward when engaged. This super sweet retro motor was a surprise hit with our testers, girls and boys, 10 and older. It was easily the favorite, in part because it goes pretty fast and because the kids feel so grown up riding a motorcycle. Ha ha. If you stick to pavement, it's a pretty smooth ride, and the soft seat was an added bonus for young bums. The brakes offer great stopping power, and there's a small storage compartment under the seat that could fit a cell phone, keys, and a snack. A cool safety feature is the kickstand. Not only does this keep this kid's electric scooter standing upright, but it prevents the scooter from accidentally accelerating. When the kickstand is engaged, the rear wheel is lifted off the ground so if the twist throttle is engaged, the scooter won't go anywhere. This came in handy at our house when little sister wouldn't stop climbing on the seat. Good brake offer great stopping power. Smooth, fast riding on pavement. Storage compartment under seat for transporting small items. Comfy seat. Wide handlebars. Can ride on grass pretty well, but bumpy. Special kickstand that lifts up back wheel. Safety bonus. 